Van, what are your thoughts? <clears throat> it's um, well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier. It's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Tell them the truth matters. Being a good person matters. And it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim in this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. If you're an immigrant, you don't have to worry if the president's going to be happier to have babies snatched away or send, send dreamers back for no re reason. <laughs> This is vindication for a lot of people who have really suffered. You know, the, the, I can't breathe. You know, that wasn't just George Floyd. That was a lot of people that felt that they couldn't breathe. Every day you're waking up and you're getting these tweets and you just don't know, and you're going to the store, and, and people who have been afraid to show their racism are getting nastier and nastier to you, and you're worried about your kids, and you're worried about your sister. And can she just go to Walmart and, and get back into the, her car without somebody saying something to her? And, 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 and you spent so much of your life energy just trying to hold it together. And this is a big deal for us just to be able to get some peace and, 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 and have a chance for, for, for a reset. And, and the character of the country matters. And, 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 and being a good man matters. I, you know, I just want my son to, to look at this. Look at this. You know, it's easy to, to, to do it the cheap way and, 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 and get away with stuff, but it comes back around. It comes back around, and this is a good day for this country. I, I'm sorry for the people who lost. I, for them, it's not a good day, but for a whole lot of people, it's a good day. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all you I came out there pushing his word with our truth and sincerity. <clears throat> and to all you believers out there who are believing on the gospel. Now, this is the brother Kwara Abad from the GMS Houston camp. Now, I just want to go into a quick lesson, man. Um, you know, um, uh, you know, as Joe Biden um, not too long ago just became the 46th president of, Uni of the United States. But what sparked my spirit to want to go ahead and do this lesson is a little quick impromptu, man, you know, a quick impromptu because seeing uh, how the citizens of America is reacting, mainly the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man, which are the biblical Israelites. They, they are the ones rejoicing, man. You rejoicing because uh, your enemy was just declared your president, man. You see, Joe Biden is still your enemy, man. What you rejoicing for? You still going to be in captivity. You still going to be oppressed. America still going to be destroyed, man. Just because, like the Apostle Hall say, a sinking ship. America is a sinking ship. Just because you change the captain don't mean a boat going to stop sinking. America's still going down, man. It's prophesied to happen. Just because Joe Biden is president, prophecy still will be fulfilled. Just because Kamala Harris is vice president, the so-called first black woman, first woman to be vice president, guess what? America is still going to be destroyed. Even if Trump was to remain the president, guess what? America is still going to be destroyed at the end of the day. These prophecies have to be fulfilled. Why? Because it's, it's, it was sanctioned by the Heavenly Father, the Most High Power, Yahweh. It was sanctioned to happen, man. And it's going to happen. You see, but it just blows my mind to see Negroes, especially Judah, the tribe of Judah, which is the Negroes, man. But uh, Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans to rejoice just because a different person from their enemies are king is king over them now, man. You see, he's ruler over them. Right. So ain't nothing going to change, man. That's why the scripture says, um. Let's get that real quick. Let's start with that. You know, like I said, it's a little impromptu, man. You know, just want to go into a couple of things that's still going to happen, although Biden is the president and you can't stop it. But the scripture says in Sirach 12, it says, and 10, never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth, 
so is his wickedness. And Joe Biden, he might seem like he with black folks, with Hispanic folks, he with you, right? He might seem cool and nice, right? But really, if you ask me, I'd rather Trump. Trump let you know he don't like you. Trump let you know he don't he don't deal with you. Biden, he try to hide it. But that's why it says never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. You might have some iron, right? Eventually, that iron go start rusting. You put, try to put some shine on it, some water on it. It may look good for a little bit, but guess what? That rust go eventually show again. So Biden, he seemed nice and cool for a little bit, but guess what? His wickedness is about to show. It says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped the looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away, man. You see? Biden been ready to get you niggas off the streets, man. He been talking about the uh, RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Well, guess what? It's about to show. You see? It's about to show. Let me snag this real quick. This is Isaiah 46. Just to go into how, hey, everything is already set. The most high already set. What he wanted to happen in the beginning, in the ancient times, in our present time, and what's to come after today, man. Everything is set. So Joe Biden can't change that. Joe Biden can't change the prophecies in the scriptures, man. You niggas act like, because when you read the scriptures, everything that the Bible have said was to happen back then, it happened. Happened now, is happening. Just because a, a new old ass Edomite getting into the office in America, in the over office, and then he don't even get into Jan <laughs> January 20th or something. So anything can happen between then. Trump can declare martial law. Trump can go to war and, you see, with another nation. Biden still got to wait to get in there and call shots until his inauguration, man. But you niggas act like a new old white man about to stop what the most high got going, man. Come on. It's Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old, for I am the most high and there is none else. I am the most high and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. So everything was already set. In the beginning, what's going to happen in these last end days, man? And you can't change that. Remember, in Revelation 18, when it speaks of Babylon, the great, right? The, the daughter of Babylon, that great city being destroyed. Bro, that's America already prophesied to be destroyed. Guess what? They have to be fulfilled. It have to be fulfilled. The scriptures, the most high says, his word don't go out void. It shall accomplish all that it pleases. Well, guess what? When you read Revelation, that great city, Isaiah 47, the daughter of Babylon, right? Jeremiah 50, 51, Babylon. That's speaking about America. If it's already written in, in the prophets prophesied for it to be destroyed in the future, guess what? If we here in this time, guess what got to happen? It still got to go out. Because look, the kingdom of heaven can't come. Until Babylon the Great and this society is taken down. So guess what? The Lord Yahweh Shai eventually going to have to come back. And he is not going to spare Babylon. You see? But it says, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. The Lord going to do what he want to do, man. And one of the things he want to do is to destroy Babylon. You see? Which is America. And it will happen. It will happen, man. This is Jeremiah. It's a lot of I'm a little amped up, but you know, that shit be driving me because seeing Jake, you know, just excited and, but they don't get excited about the law. That's how you know these was the same niggas who was like free Barabbas, free Barabbas and, and, and crucify the Lord. Come on, man. Right. Let's read a little bit about Babylon. Let's see if she can be saved and healed. America. This is Jeremiah 51. And... I'm going to start at six. It says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. It's not talking about literally move out of America. And, you know, you see? No, it's not talking about that. It's talking, it says, deliver every man his soul. Spiritually disconnect from this place, man. Detach from America. Because when it go down, you don't want to be plugged in, man. Because you ain't going to have those same comforts and, and, and hopes and beliefs. No, let go of it now. So when it do fall, when all hell do break loose, silver unrest, concentration camps, you don't have no part in this place. So you're not going to care for it. And that that the elect, 
of the nation of Israel, the ones who will be saved. Lord willing, we are the number we have attached, from, uh, detached from this place, man. We are set apart from this place. So it says, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Listen to this. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Now, can this be, <laughs> can this be unsaid? No, it's said already. It's said already, man. And look, you gotta, you gotta know this too. All these prophecies that's written in these scriptures, it already happened in the heavens. It just have to be manifested on earth. How you think? Ezra was able to see the coming of Yahweh Shai. John, you see? Able to see the coming of Yahweh Shai. Job, right? Because it already happened in the heavens. The Most High gave him that vision. We just waiting on it to be manifested and played out on earth. It ain't going to be in the heavens, declared in the heavens, and never happen on earth. That would make the Most High a liar, and that he is not. You see? So it says, and he will render unto her a recompense, Babylon, America, right? Have been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Following after the ways of America, these other nations are bugged out, just like America, legalizing homosexuality, you see, and democracy. You see fast food and, and Sonic and Wendy's and McDonald's. And cigarettes, <laughs> inside joke, cigarettes, man, you see, and not a, emotionally mad as well, because they followed after America ways, but check this out, it's the point, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed, how for her, take balm for her, for her pain, if so, she may be healed, so this the Lord being a little funny with you, he's saying get some ointment, Get some band-aids, get some, get some icy hot fur, rub it on Babylon, rub it on America, and see if she could be healed. In other words, get a new president and see if she going to be healed, see if the economy going to come back, right? Get a new president and then the first black vice president and see if the coronavirus lockdown is going to go away and mask going to go away. Get another president and life going to go back to normal. Let's see if she can be healed. Let's see if it's still life in this place, right? This is the mindset of these citizens in America. It says, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. It says, how for her? Take bone for her pain. If so, be, she may be healed. But the Lord got this to say, right? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. It's impossible to revive this place. It's impossible, impossible to make America great again. Matter of fact, it's impossible to make America great. Well, I guess she lives up to her name. Because in the scripture it says, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. This is you, America. Just so you got great in your shit now. Babylon the Great, America, make America great again. That's a little sign to show you America is Babylon the Great. But it says, we would have healed Babylon right we would have we tried to heal it we tried to get a president up in there to change everything we tried to get a president a new captain on the ship to stop the ship from sinking you see we tried to switch up our policies and laws but guess what the lord said but she is not healed it's impossible to heal her she flatlining right now she she flatlining she choking man no cpr no no none of that gonna heal her it says, forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And that proves that what we were just reading is talk about Babylon, the great, um, that great city in Revelation 18. Because what we just read, it said, her judgment reacheth unto heaven, right? Well, check this out about Babylon, the great in Revelation 18. It says, and for I'm going to start at five. It says, for her sins have reached unto heaven and the most high have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you double unto her according to her works in the cup which she have filled, filled to her double. So it's still going to be destruction to come to America. You can't change that. Let's go into some of those things that's going to happen to this place, man. All right? Let's go into some of those things. I'm going to have to get that second edge. We're going to have to get that. But let me see. This is um. Let me see. I want to grab this. 
Okay, I'm about to get that second Ezra 13. I mean, um, Isaiah 13, but I'm going to just hop straight into second Ezra. Don't want to be too long with it. Wind it. But this still going to happen, man. This is um second Ezra 15. Second Ezra 15, and I'm going to start at 5. Behold, man, let's start at 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. And that's what we're doing. We're speaking prophecy. That the Lord have put these words in our mouth to say. It says, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And they are written in this Bible for us to speak. And guess what? They faithful and true. So as we just read about America still being destroyed, guess what? That's faithful and true. It's going to happen. It's a show thing. It says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee. Incredulity is unbelief. So just because you could say... Well, you know, I don't believe in the Bible, you know, so, well, okay, just because you don't believe in the Bible, do that mean that's going to stop the Lord of prophecies? And you say, well, you know, I'm an atheist, well, that mean the Lord still ain't going to bring fire to America? What you saying? What are you saying? Well, Biden, the president, now America going to get back to normal. No. <laughs> it says, fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee, that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. You're just going to have to die, right? A lot of you niggas just going to have to die. Well, that's why it says two-thirds going to die. Because you do stupid shit like rejoice when Biden is your president. It's a lock you. This shit just, you know. But we telling you, you got a whole... A real king, man. King of kings and lords of lords. That he coming for you, man. But you don't want to show love to the Lord. You don't want to rejoice for the Lord, though. But you want to rejoice for an old ass Edomite. You know? Come on, man. Skin peeling and, and blood spots just all on his arms. And you know them, you know them old white men just be bleeding for no reason and shit, you know? Flakes all in his eyebrows and shit. Come on, man. It says, Behold, say of the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And remember, what we about to read is faithful and true. <laughs> we just read that it's faithful and true. So these things are coming upon the world. It says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That backs those with America's sins reaching unto heaven. It says, Therefore, say of the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Be a pedophilia, right? You know, or abortions, which is modern day child sacrificing, homosexuality, you know, the oppression, oppression and, and, and murdering of the uh, chosen people. So the Lord said, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry up unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually, and we complain unto the Lord. And he gonna say, And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. And that's our people in America. Lead, be led as a flock to the slaughter, just sheep, just going to their death. You see, you voting for Biden, you're walking in the in the voting polls you being led as a flock to the slaughter to your own death you voting for who you want to put you to death you voting for who you want to oppress you man you niggas crazy it says behold my people is led as a flock to the slaughter i will not suffer them to dwell in the land of egypt and this is not talking about the modern day egypt according to revelation 11 and 8 that great city right <laughs> let's prove it's talking about america right here because remember America is that great city in Revelation, Babylon and Great. Now, let's see what's one of the code names for Babylon to tell you it's not talking about the ancient Egypt. There's Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies, talking about the Israelite dead bodies, spiritually dead. You know, our people not knowing who they are. Our people not knowing they already have a king, Yahweh, which is the heavenly father name, and Yahweh Shah, his son. It ain't Jesus. You see? Not knowing the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Our people have been dead bodies. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Uh-oh. America. Of the great city, which spiritually is called. So it's about to give us two code names 
of places that America is spiritually likened unto. It says that great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Sodom and Egypt. It says, well, also our Lord was crucified. Why Sodom? Do we have Sodom was known for his homosexuality? Do we have even have to go more in on that about America? Not really. But we focusing on the Egypt part to prove in Second Ezra is not talking about the actual Egypt. Ancient Egypt is talking about America. It's going to prove itself. Second Ezra, back in uh, 15 and 10, it says, Behold, my people was led as a flock to the slaughter. I would not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and will smite Egypt with plagues as before. Telling you it was a different Egypt because he's going to do to America what he did to ancient Egypt, but worse. He's going to smite with plagues as before. It says and will destroy the land thereof. So can Biden stop this? Can Biden stop this? And when you talk about he's going to deliver, that's talking about the elect. One third of Israel, the prophets and the believers. But you other niggas got to die here with Biden and with, you know, with whoever else. That's if Biden ain't saved for slavery. You see, it says, verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh. You're just, you voted for your destruction to come even closer. It says, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. And we about to see that silver unrest. And what's the swords in their hands, man? It could be a literal sword. But what's the modern day sword? Any type of gun you have. It could be a flamethrower. That's a weapon. Any type of weapon is a sword, man. But guess what? It says one people shall stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. You're going to have these Biden supporters going at it with these Trump supporters. You're going to have niggas going at it with Edomites, which is white people. You know, Mexicans. Everybody going to rebel, man. This is what America is coming to. Purge the election year, man. This is what it's coming to. You see what the scripture said in Matthew 24, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. When you go into that word iniquity, one of the definitions is lawlessness. America is a lawless country, man. So guess what? The love of many is about to wax cold, each man for himself. It says, for there shall be sedition among men. Sedition is a rebellion against the government, rebellion against authority, man. You seen an example of that when those uh 13 Edomites in Michigan, right, uh plot to um to uh uh um what's the word, man? Um what's the word? Let me see, hold on, let me look it up. So like here. 13 men Michigan. I'm gonna just type that in. Okay, yeah, kidnap, so like it, you know. I ain't the most, you know, intellectual, you know, with the vocabulary. But 13 white men planned, uh, plotted to kidnap the mayor of Michigan, man. But that's an example of up rises against the government. Let's get back to it. It says, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Listen to this. And they shall not regard their kings. So the people ain't going to care what, what Biden going to have to say in that time. Because why people ain't going to have food, you know, you more evictions. It's going to be more suffering. Lockdown will come again from the coronavirus. So people ain't going to care what Biden going to have to say or, or Kamala Harris. It says, no, princes, your, your mayors, your governors. It says, in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Talking about these citizens. The citizens going to be able to do what they want to do, man. You ain't going to have 911 to call in that day because the cops going to be trying to save their own lives and their own family lives, man. It's literally going to be an all-out purge. This is what's coming. Can Biden stop this again? You see? This can't be stopped, man. It says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. What is that? Martial law. The city's going to be locked down. Checkpoints. Concentration camps, man. This is what's coming to this place. And an old-ass white man can't stop it. And this is coming strictly out and straight out the Bible, man. We read in prophecy. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. If men are afraid, what you think women and children go be in that day? 
a man shall, it says a man, verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Your same neighbor, you walk out, you y'all just happen to take the trash out at the same time on Saturday morning. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Hey, Jim, you know, did you watch the game last night? You, know, you go to the mailbox and... You know, y'all kids playing in the yard. No, it ain't going to be that no more. You're going to bust in, in, in your neighbor's shit to take his food because you and your family are hungry. Matter of fact, you might bust in his crib to rape his wife and, and to eat him. Cannibalism going to come back. How about that? Let's read about that. Let's read about uh, women being raped in that day. This is um, Isaiah 13. And 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword and you niggas joining yourself unto america so guess what you gotta fall by the sword with america man like we said flee out of the midst of babylon deliver every man his soul be not cut off in her iniquity so if you don't unplug right now you're gonna die along with this place it says their children shall also be dashed to pieces before their eyes your little kids them little niggas gonna be getting killed Neck heads cut off and, and shot by the cops. You think you think George Floyd was something? They gonna have more than a knee on the niggas necks in that day, man. It says, we shall not um Salaki. It says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. So niggas gonna break into your houses. These foreign troops gonna come break into your houses, military troops, kill you and rape your wife and Kill your children, man. You see? Like the brother Kaya say, in that order, man. This is what's about to happen. And can a vote for an old white man stop this? The point is no. That's what I'm getting at this whole lesson. Just because Biden the president, all these things still going to happen, man. Stop playing. You playing with the Lord, man. <laughs> you playing with the Lord. You saying, in other words, you saying that Biden got more power than the, the most high power of heaven and earth. That he going to stop this. Stop playing, man. You see? I'm going to end it off on this. Hmm. Let's, get, let's get it. My, you know, blood balling. Because <laughs> niggas be pissing you off, man. You know? Just to see the excitement of niggas on social media coming boys, on uh, YouTube coming boys is mind-blowing. Like, this white man haven't been destroying and killing you for all these years just because oh, one old one about to come in office and change everything because he had two chains opened up for him the other day because he go sit in black churches. Come on, man. Come on, man. But, um... The second after 16 and 14, behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. These things have been spoken. They not going to go back and just not happen. Prophecy just not going to be fulfilled. No, it's going to be fulfilled. It says, until they come upon the earth, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till they consume the foundation of the earth. And that's America's ultimate judgment. Fire being sent over here from these other nations by way of ICBM missiles, man. It says, like as an arrow, which is shot of a mighty archer, return of not backward. Right. Think about a person who's shooting a born arrow. They shoot that arrow. It ain't going to turn into a boomerang and the arrow ain't going to come right back. No, it's going to go hit his target, right? So the Lord is saying the same thing, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward, even so the plagues shall not, even so the plagues shall be sent upon the earth, shall not return again. In other words, these things that's coming on the earth, it ain't going to be taken away, man. They go come and do its purpose, man. The Lord ain't going to speak something and then as it's coming, oh, take it back. No, they going to come, man. It says, verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. And what shall I do when these evils shall come? Behold, famine, plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a mimic, man. But for all these things, they shall not return from their wickedness. As it get worse, niggas still going to nig. You see? Mexicans still going to be, <laughs> you do, you know, wetbacks and still, niggas, in other words, it's still going to be wickedness on earth. Nobody ain't going to feel what's coming on the earth. 
It says, no, always be mindful of the scourges, man. You see that? But, you know, just wanted to touch on that, man. Like I said, you know, just wanted to, you know, get that off my chest. You see? Get that off my chest. But Lord willing, there's a lesson. Was that a final? I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Chakwadash. With that, Shalom.